Hello and welcome to the fourth video on UDK scripting for newbies. This is video number four. Uh, recall that where we left off last time was on mynote.uc and we were using Explorer++. And what we're going to be doing in this video is covering some important concepts. First of all, let's open uh, mynote.uc. Uh, all I really have to do is double click on it and it'll open for me. And let's look at some of these terms here. We see up here that we have a group of what looks like code, but it really isn't. It's just comments. And then we have some stuff here like class, my note, extends note, and then this other line here, and then a bar. Uh, we've got a string, my string, and so on. Let's see what these things are. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to pop up one of our P notes here and look at what a comment is. Comments have no effect on the code. They are used to give programmers information about the program or a specific line of code. There are two types of comments. There's the block comment, which allows commenting several lines of code, and the single line comment, which allows for the commenting of a single line of code. The block co comment starts with the forward slash asterisk and ends with the asterisk forward slash. This is an example of the block comment. Note there's several lines of code. This is an example of a single line comment. So let me go ahead and close this guy here on comments. If you notice, this is a block comment. And this right here is a single line comment. And here's another single line comment after this second line. And if you recall, this is, uh, appears as a little pop-up uh, in the application when you put your mouse over this particular uh, variable. Let's look at uh, class definition. What definition of a class is? We've got this thing class here, right here. All of our programs in these tutorials will start with the keyword, keyword class, meaning this right here. A class refers to a pre-made program that contains many lines of code which can be used in a new program. Using classes helps programmers build upon what other programmers have already done. It's a very efficient way of programming. Like for example, what we're doing here is we're saying the new class I'm making, which is called my note, is uh, extends uh, note, which is a class that somebody else made. So let's look at class declaration, see what that is. A class declaration this line of code is called a class declaration. Well, let's see what that is. That's actually this line of code right up here. Okay, this is a class declaration. Class declaration, um, uh, with the exception of comments. Of course, we have comments up here. Um, cl the class declaration is first line of code in an Unreal Script program. It always starts with the keyword class. The syntax for a class declaration is class, then new class, extends another class. So that's what we have here. Our new class was my note and extended another class, which was note. Where class and extends are UDK script keywords, reserve words. New class is the name of the class you're creating. This must also be the same name of the file that contains the code, new class.uc with UC extension. In other words, this right here, my note, that's my new class, my file name must also be named that. And, and let's just double check to make sure that that's what I did. I'm going to close this guy right here. And yes, there's my file name, which is uh, my note.uc. So my class name right here, my note, is exactly the same name as my file name with the dot, uh, uh, unreal class uh, dot uc uh, uh, extension. Uh, Observe that in this, in this case, it ends with a semicolon. So if you look at that, the class decoration ends with a semicolon. There's a few exceptions to this, and we'll talk about those later. Uh, here's the example. Uh, class my note extends note, where my note is the name of your new class, also the name of the file. And then note is the name of the existing class from which your new class inherits code. So using classes, is a is a cool way of um, of uh, really building upon previously made code. It's very efficient. 
Let's look now at uh, identifiers. Identifiers. Uh, an identifier is a word made up by the programmer to identify uh, something such as a value, a program, a class, or any other program data. Example, class, my note, extends note. The word my note, right here, is an identifier that identifies the new program you are creating. The word note is an identifier used by the programmer who created the, the code for note program. So an identifier is a word that you make up to identify your, your new class or anything else. Like here's another identifier called my string. Okay, but we'll get into that. Um, the rules for identifiers are, there are just a few of them. They must start with the letter or the underscore. Any combination of letters, numbers, or underscores uh, may, uh, may then follow. And it cannot include a space. And it cannot be the same as a keyword or reserved word. And that a keyword or reserved word is a word that's used by Unity and has a special meaning. For example, the word class is a keyword or reserved word. Extends is a keyword or a reserved word. So is string. So is var. I can't use any of these reserved words or keywords, they mean the same thing, uh, to, to, as any of my identifiers. Okay, in Unreal Script, uh, all code is case insensitive. This means that my note means the same as my note is the same as my note or my note. It's important to realize that in most other programming languages, this is not the case. Languages such as C, C++, Java, and many others are case sensitive, where my note is a different identifier from my note. So the rules for identifiers, keep these in mind, these are these are very uh, important. Okay, so that was for identifiers. Um, yes, I want to keep the changes. And uh, now I have variable declarations. A variable declaration is this right down here, this next line of code. Okay, this right here is a variable declaration. A declaration is a line of code that declares a new variable you will be using in your program. For example, our string my string declares that a new variable identified as my string will be a variable of type string. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, isn't this up here from my class a, a, a variable declaration? Well, in a sense it is, but more specifically, it's declaring a, a new class um, and uh, what what class is based upon. In other words, it extends note. Um, var uh, uh, parentheses uh, string my string declares that a new variable identified as my string will be a variable of type string. This right here is a UDK uh, scripting keyword and means that a variable declaration is to follow. String is another UDK keyword and means that the variable will be declared is of type data type string. And my string is the variable identifier made up by the programmer and follows the rule for creating identifiers. And then the um, semicolon is the declaration must end with a semicolon. Note, the keyword var with, with uh, parentheses means that the end user may change the value of the variable, where the keyword var without the parentheses means that the end user cannot change the variable value. And we'll see more about this part here where the note is. OK, so that was about variable declaration. Now we're going to talk about data types. And here's data types. A data type tells the program what kind of data will be represented by a particular identifier. As an example, var, parentheses, string, my string, the keyword string, which is a keyword or reserved word, is a data type that tells the program that the identifier my string will be a, the data type string. Data types are necessary so that the program knows how to work with the newly declared variable. There are many data types in the UDK scripting environment. Some of them are byte, int, bool, float, string, name, just to name a few. Note, UDK script has many other data types as well. The ones shown here are just a few of them. And these are uh, perhaps some of the most common ones that we'll be using uh, during this tutorial.
So what I have here is I've got, we went over comments, we went over class definition on our notes, class decoration, uh, identifies variable decoration and data types. You may want to go through this video again and actually make some of your own notes because the stuff that we covered here is terminology that we'll be using in future videos. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.